Namaste my dear student today I am here with a new video the second, third part of real number so I will continue the video so you try to see the video up to last and today we will discuss some important things and in, if you not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel so today we will do we will discuss some very important point to this chapter so i start the video okay so first one is that is revising revising irrational number okay you have to in the earlier class in up to class 9 we have already learned about irrational number or rational number okay so now uh, what is the definition of irrational number first definition of rational number okay rational number a number which which can be expressed in the form of what p by q form and where p and q are some integer which can be expressed in the form of p by q okay if 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 we cannot express p by q then we can say that is irrational number so this is the proper definition a number which is not or which which is not expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are integer and q is not equal to 0 is called irrational number ok so for example suppose root 2 root 3 root 15 we cannot express this in p by q form and actually in uh, in the root over from all prime number that is all prime number uh, no no all you can say all prime number some other composite number also in irrational number ok uh, and pi also irrational number root over 3 by root over 3 uh, this also what irrational number and 0 0.10 0.10110 like that they are continuing uh, one one is more ok in every step so uh, these are what example of irrational number ok so now one theorem th only theorem needed you have to remember this theorem uh, proof no need in your class ok so let p be a prime if p be a prime number if p divides a square then p divides a ok so where a is a positive integer ok for example for understanding this theorem we take one example for example suppose 5 divides 5 square so 5 square means what 25 so 25 is divisible by what 5 ok then 5 is also divisible by 5 5 is a prime number and this 5 divide 5 square and this is also divide 5 so according to this theorem if p be a prime number if p divides a square then p divides a where a is a positive integer ok like that so uh, now i take another theorem that is theorem prove that root 2 is irrational actually we know root 2 is irrational how can we prove this is irrational ok so i start so let um, we, uh, we can prove this theorem by the method of contradiction ok method of contradiction means first at first we consider this as a rational number ok uh, finally we will get this is not a rational number so some uh, you will get some fact who is uh, contradict our result ok so let us see let root 2 is a rational number so if it is rational number we can express this p by q or a by b so therefore root over 2 equal to a by b form so we can express root over 2 in the form of a by b ok where a and b are integer and co prime co prime means um, they have common factor only one ok common factor only one 
other than one there is no common factor okay then you can say this is co prime okay means a by b is a a and b have only one as a common factor no other common factor okay so now you multiply this b with root 2 root 2 into b equal to a so finally so now we taking square in both side we taking square in both side so here root 2 b whole square is equal to a square so here you get 2 b square equal to a square from this expression you can say if you take this 2 in the right hand side means what a square is divisible by 2 so here a square is divisible by 2 or divided by 2 so a is also divided by what 2 because in the previous theorem we have already get okay so a square is divisible by 2 so a is also divisible by 2 so if a is divisible by 2 we can express this a in another form that is a equal to twice c means this is defined what c is a number which is divided by uh, this 2 is divided by what a so a is divisible by 2 means you can express this a equal to twice c where c is some integer okay now again you take both side square so squaring both side a square equal to 4 c square you get so in the place of e square you put this 2 b square from 1 so 2 b square is equal to 4 c square so this 2 and 4 cancel you will get b square is equal to twice c here also you can say this b square is divisible by 2 this 2 if you divide this b square by 2 this is divisible okay and so b is divisible by 2 so from here you get b is also divisible by what 2 okay so a also divisible by 2 b also divisible by 2 so this implies that a and b have 2 as a common factor okay here in the first it, uh, we get what a is divisible by 2 here also you get what 2 b is divisible by 2 so this implies that a and b have 2 as a common factor okay but this is a contradiction or and this is a contradiction to the fact that because a and b are key co prime already here it is given a and b are co prime so co prime means uh, they have only one as a common factor but here what you get two as a common factor so this is not possible so our assumption is wrong hence root 2 is irrational okay so our assumption is what wrong okay so in this way we can prove any irrational number okay so now i come to the exercise now exercise 1.3 prove that root over 5 is irrational this is the same process as a root over 2 so in your book root over 3 is given to you try to solve by yourself so root over 5 is the same process so with the help of um, contradiction uh, we can prove this let us consider root over 5 is a rational number so we, if it is a rational number you can express this root over 5 in the form of a by b where a and b are some integer this is n okay the uh, symbol a and b are some integer and co prime co prime means again i um, explain uh, co prime means um, it has only one as a common factor okay so now uh, root over 5 into b you cross multiply then root over 5 into b equal to a you get one so now you take square both side to so taking square both side root over 5 b whole square equal to a square then you will get 5 b square is equal to a square from here uh, a square is divisible by 5 a square is divisible by 5 and so e a is divisible by 5 according to the theorem that okay so if a is divisible by 5 we can express this a at another form that is a equal to 5 c where c is an integer okay so now again you take a square both side a square equal to 5 c square a squaring both side okay now a square equal to 25 c square now a square equal to already in one you get what 5 b square so we put here that value so a square equal to what 5 b square equal to 25 c square so from 1 so now this 5 and 25 we can cancel yeah, only 5 will be left so b square equal to 5 c square so from this expression you can say this b square is divisible by what 5 
तो बी स्क्वायर इज डिविजिबल बाय फाइव एंड सो बी आल्सो डिविजिबल बाय फाइव ओके सो हेंस वी गेट ए एंड बी हैव फाइव एज ए कॉमन फैक्टर ओके बट दिस इज ए कंट्राडिक्शन टू द फैक्ट दैट ए एंड बी आर को प्राइम तो इफ इट इज को प्राइम सो ओनली वन एज ए कॉमन फैक्टर बट हियर वी गेट फाइव एज ए कॉमन फैक्टर सो आवर एजामसन इज रंग सो आवर एजामसन इज रंग हेंस रुट ओवर फाइव इज इरेशनल ओके सो रुट ओवर फाइव इज इरेशनल हेंस प्रूफ ओके क्लियर नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इट इज गिवेन प्रूफ दैट थ्री प्लस टू रुट ओवर फाइव इज इरेशनल थ्री प्लस टू रुट ओवर फाइव इज इरेशनल हियर अल्सो वी यूज सेम प्रोसेस बट दिस इज दिस इज डिफर दिस इज सम डिफारेंट सम स्टेप्स आर डिफारेंट टू द प्रिभिया क्वेश्चन ओके लेट आस कन्सिडार लेट आस कन्सिडार थ्री प्लस टू रुट ओवर फाइव इज ए इरेशनल सरि इज ए रेशनल नम्बर यू हेव टू प्रूव दिस इरेशनल तो उइ कैन उइ कन्सिडार दिस इज ए रेशनल नम्बर सो उइ कैन एक्सप्रेस दिस इन ए बी फर्म हुएर ए एंड बी आर इंटीजार एंड को प्राइम सेम प्रसिडियर सो ना दिस थ्री इफ यू टेक इन द रईट हेंड सैड दिस उल ए बी माइनस थ्री ना यू टेक एल सी एम ए माइनस थ्री बै बै थ्री बी बै बी सो हियर इफ यू टेक टू इन द रईट हेंड सैड रुट ओवर फाइव इज इक्ल ए माइनस थ्री बी बै टू आइज बी दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन सो ना यू सीम सीस ए एन बी आर इंटीजार इफ ए एन बी आर इंटीजार सो दिस टार्म ए माइनस थ्री बी बै टू बी एक्सुअलि उइ कैन एक्सप्रेस एवरी इंटीजार हाट इन ए इन द फर्म अफ हाट पी बै कि फर्म सो इफ यू डिवाइड वन इंटीजार बै अनदार इंटीजार देन अल्सो गेट यू गेट रेशनल नम्बर सो ए माइनस थ्री बी बै टू बी इज ए रेशनल नम्बर ओके इफ द रईट हेंड सैड इज रेशनल देन लेफ्ट हेंड सैड अल्सो हाट रेशनल सो देर फोर रुट ओवर फाइव इज अल्सो रेशनल बट इन द आर्लियर प्रूफ उइ हेव अलरे गेट हाट रुट ओवर फाइव इज हट इरेशनल तो बट दिस इज ए कन्ट्राडिक दिस बट दिस कन्ट्राडिक दिस इज कन्ट्राडिक द फैक्ट दैट रुट ओवर फाइव इज एन इरेशनल नम्बर अलरेडी उइ हेव लार्न हेन्स आवार एजामसन इज रंग देर फोर थ्री प्लस टू रुट ओवर फाइव इज एन इरेशनल नम्बर ओके सो दिस इज इजियर दैन आर्लियर प्रूफ द स्टेप इज भेरी लेस सो इन दिस वे उइ कैन प्रूफ दिस पार्ट ओके अलरेडी रुट ओवर फाइव इज प्रूफ ओके देर फोर उइ यूज दिस शर्टकाट मेथड ओके सो नाउ आई उल टेक अनदार प्रब्लेम थ्री इट इज गिवेन प्रूफ दैट द फलोईंग आर इरेशनल सो वान बै रुट ओवर टू सो लेट वान बै रुट ओवर टू इज एरे इज ए रेशनल नम्बर सो देर फोर वन बै रुट ओवर टू इक्ल ए बै वि हुएर ए एंड बी आर इंटीजार एंड को प्राइम सो यू कैन रिभार्स दिस रुट ओवर टू इज इक्ल बी बै ए सीस ए एंड बी आर इंटीजार सो बी बै इज अल्सो हाट इंटीजार एंड इट इज इरेशनल सरि इट इज रेशनल इफ दिस इज रेशनल इफ द रईट हेंड सैड इज रेशनल दैन लेफ्ट हेंड सैड अल्सो हाट रेशनल बट दिस इज कन्ट्राडिक द फैक्ट दैट रुट ओवर टू इज इरेशनल अलरेडी वी हेव लार्न रुट ओवर टू इज इरेशनल सो आवार एजामसन इज रंग सो इफ रईट हेंड सैड इज इरेशनल देन दिस अल्सो अल्सो हाट इरेशनल सो हेन्स वन बै रुट ओवर टू इज एन इरेशनल नम्बर ओके सो दिस इज थ्री वन देन क्वेश्चन नम्बर थ्री टू सेवेन रुट ओवर फाइव इज इरेशनल तो यू हेव टू प्रूव दिस सो लेट फाइव रुट ओवर सरी सेवेन रुट ओवर फाइव इज इरेशनल नम्बर इफ दिस इज इरेशनल नम्बर सो देर फोर फाइव रुट सेवेन रुट ओवर फाइव इज इक्ल यू कैन एक्सप्रेस दिस ए बै वि हुएर ए एंड बी आर हाट इंटीजार एंड को प्राइम सो रुट ओवर फाइव इज इक्ल टू ए बै सो इफ यू टेक दिस सेवेन इन द रईट हेंड सैड सो यू गेट रुट ओवर फाइव इज इक्ल ए बै सेवेन बी सीस ए एंड बी आर हाट इंटीजार सो इफ दिज आर इंटीजार टू ए बै सेवेन बी इज हाट इरेशनल सरी ए बै सेवेन बी इज रेशनल ओके इफ द रईट हेंड सैड इज रेशनल देन लेफ्ट हेंड सैड अल्सो रेशनल बट उ नो रुट ओवर फाइव इज हाट इरेशनल बट दिस इज कन्ट्राडिक द फैक्ट दैट रुट ओवर फाइव इज इरेशनल 
so if the root over 5 is irrational means what our assumption is wrong our assumption is what wrong therefore 7 therefore 7 root over 5 is an irrational number okay this is about the proof of irrational number in this way we can prove any irrational number so uh, uh, i think you have got this how to prove this irrational number okay just procedure is same so you have to remember in this way you can uh, solve all the example of this exercise 1.3 okay so if you like my video please put one like and comment and share my video and if you not subscribe my channel please subscribe so again i will come with a new video that is the last part of this exercise okay so thank you